fishing trip. We're actually going to go with a couple other people from the marina, Lindsay and Larry. I'm personally super stoked because I've never caught a fish before. Two and a half hours and we haven't caught anything. Southern tip of Florida, Keys. So we're at the East Hump now. We're going from depths of around eight to 900 feet. And then inside on the hump, it comes up to 540 feet. Depth changes, usually on the edges of it, as where the fish are. Yep, kind of with the current the Gulf Stream pushing over it, but it hits that hump and kicks up there. Bottom of the big fish turns up all the stuff. It just dawned on us why we're not catching anything else. What was the problem, well, Captain? Well, after doing a bunch of research through <laughs> Google, uh, we found out that fish don't like sober fishing. So, cheers. Cheers. Uh, we cheers. don't want to eat it. <laughs> Go get something. Drink up. Because <laughs> you're a team player? Mm -hmm. A few moments later. string of good luck because then they really started coming in. video mm -hmm. and there's probably another 10 or so that you couldn't see so when you're out uh, call them schoolies and right? cook into one mahi um, you can leave it in the water and basically start tossing we use a, a bucktail jig uh, it's like a big like three ounce white lead weight with some feathers on the back 
and I used to jerk that through the water real fast or you can use cut bait or live bait whatever they, uh, they're biting on but as long as you leave one in the water always that whole school will just stay right around the back of the boat for a minute there I was like pulling it back and forth and, and just leave it in the water until someone else hooks one and then you pull that one out and leave the one that's still fighting through. when you hook them that close to the boat they have a lot of energy they're gonna be fighting going crazy so you leave that one in the water and it keeps the curiosity of the school going it makes the fishing fun quick fast and easy and Good time. It was a lot of fun. And good eating. Good eating, yeah. And speaking of good eating, it's lunchtime because fish also don't like starving sailors. Before you came up here? Is it on What were face? you eating? Ice cream. <laughs> Is it everywhere? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> I was really into it. <laughs> I thought you were just saying it because it took too long. <laughs> Busted! <laughs> Got back from the fishing trip. I uh, have to clean up the fish, wash the boat down, get all the salt off, everything. And then I believe this evening we're gonna meet up with everybody, uh, have some fish tacos, we have like a big you know, outdoor hangout area for everybody to use. And so that's the plan. And then tomorrow I believe everybody's agreed to have a sandbar day. So I think do fish tacos tonight, hopefully, call it an early night. And then get some projects done tomorrow and sandbar. <laughs> so Matt's going to go down into the engine room and check on a few things. And while he's in there, I'm going to go literally <laughs> swab the deck. It's gonna be a burrito. It's gonna be a messy burrito if you try and lift it up. You don't know my Words skills. of wisdom. <laughs> See what you got. Hold on, I'm having a hard time picking up the cord. <laughs> oh. Nice work. <laughs> I just said the sheriff's just stopped by and told him, right, need to be, the boats need to be 50 feet, feet apart. Yeah, so the police came up, they were very nice, they just asked that the boats are all at least 50 feet apart, and no more than 10 people in a group. You have to be really careful. Three, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're good.